Hello everyone, Amy Rissavi here, and I am a guest designer today for My Favorite Things. And for today's video, I am using the new Sweet Succulents stamp set, which I am absolutely in love with. Succulents became quite the thing um, near the end of last year, so I was so excited to get this stamp set. So I googled images of cactus, or cacti, whatever, just to kind of give me an idea of the color schemes I could use because they actually can be in so many colors um, but at the same time you can do whatever floats your boat but I wanted to be a little more um, realistic color wise so I kept my phone set to the side as reference with the image that I wanted to use and then I stamped the one cactus image and then one of the pots onto some Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock with the smooth side facing up and then I just used the one sheet that comes with the stamps um, that you peel off before you peel off the stamps. And I just set that on top of a piece of white cardstock so I could see the colors. And then I took some distress inks that I thought kind of went with the colors of my inspiration image. And I just mushed them onto the stamp packaging to create a palette. So I just mushed like the sides of the ink pads because I didn't re need very much ink for an image this size. And then I'm just picking up the colors with my water brush and wetting each area before I add the color, just so they would blend on their own. Saves me time and effort. Distress inks kind of do blend on their own as they react with water. However, this just makes it even easier. Honestly, this image and the pot took me less than five minutes to color in. I've sped it up for video purposes, but yeah. I added the two shades of green, which were Shabby Shutters and Crushed Olive. And then I added a little bit of the Rusty Hinge just along the very top edge as the inspiration piece. It kind of had some brown. It was more from the needles on the cactus or the spines. Um, but yeah, I just added that little bit just for a bit of color variation. And then for the flowers, I used Picked Raspberry and then added a tiny bit of Candied Apple just along the tips of them. And this is where you can go pretty much any color. That's more what I was looking into when I Googled the images to see what kind of colors the flowers can be. And they have such a wide variety of colors. I'm kind of excited now to do even more cards with this set. And yeah, you can pretty much do whatever color you want. They come in a ton. So as that was drying, I did the pot. And for that one, I used um, dried marigold first. Then I added a little bit of tea dye. And then I added a bit more of that same rusty hinge. And then once those were dry, I'm grabbing the coordinating die set um, for the sweet succulents. I got the sweet succulents dynamics that I'd cut apart. And then I'm just taping them into place with a little bit of post-it tape so it doesn't shift in my die cut machine. And then I die cut a piece of MFT's smooth white cardstock with the largest die from the Blueprints 2 dynamics. And I had an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. So I used my T ruler just to draw a pencil line to make sure I stamped the background images um, fairly straight so they're not all wonky. And I'm just using the other pot images or flower pot images from the sweet succulent set. And then one of the cactus images and one of the succulent images. And I'm just stamping them with the same black ink, but I have no plans on coloring them in. I want the one I watercolored to be the focus. So I stamp these in black ink and you can do this one of two ways. I, you could just splatter black ink onto the background. That's what I originally was gonna do, but I'm a little bit of a control freak. So instead I grabbed MFT's Distressed Patterns stamp set and just stamped the splatters, which is wonderful for those of us with OCD, this makes it so much easier. So you don't end up with like a big big splatter where you don't want it. <laughs> so stamp that, erase the pencil line, and then the sentiment I stamped onto a piece of black licorice cardstock that I had already die cut with one of the fishtail flags layers dynamics. And I stamped it and embossed it with some detail white embossing powder. It's another thing I love about this set is it's got some really unique sentiments in it that I haven't found anywhere else. So they're kind of quirky to go with the, cu the cactus theme and yet, they cover a lot of different um, needs for a card. So I really like that. So once I had um, the card front done, I went on to finish the inside of the card as always. And I just inked up the same two stamps with the same colors of Distress Ink that I used to watercolor the image. I just dabbed the colors on using the edges and then I removed the color from the flowers just by pressing my thumb against them. And then I just used the very corner of the ink pads to ink up those spots and tapped on the darker colors and then stamped that right onto the inside of the card. 
And then of course had to finish it off with another sentiment from the set. And this one I inked up with the same black licorice ink. So lined that up and stamped it. And then I still have plenty of space to write something to the recipient. And then I'm going to adhere the card front onto the card and that finishes it off. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. All of the supplies and everything will be listed on the MFT blog. Um, yeah, if you're interested in that, check it out below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.